Like here's how this tester thing works that I just sent you. Um, so whenever you um, go into Bezleo now, if you create a panel um, and select bezel under shared bezels, you should have a new one listed for you that's called um, run any fusion chart. And when you've added that to a panel, what you should be able to do is actually add that as many times as you need to kind of fill out a screen for whatever sort of uh, display you're trying to present for somebody. Um, but the first thing it's going to do after the bezel loads up is it actually pops up a little settings dialog. Turn a little bit slow right now, but um, <clears throat> well, I'm waiting for that to load up though. Um, what I've got it set to do is it can run, as the name would indicate, any fusion chart. So when you go to fusioncharts.com, and then you go to product, and then you go to chart gallery, basically they're going to show you all the different kind of charts that fusion charts can do. And the nice thing about it is they've already got sample data, so you don't have to worry about making up fake data. So let's say we look at one of these stack charts here, and you find one that you like, you know, so maybe this one right here. Biggest thing I want to note is what the name of it is. And then um, when you go to this JSON tab here, you want to click on that and you want to hit this copy button. And then back inside Bezlio, when the bezel first loads up, I don't have this little pop-up screen quite working right. You'll probably see it do like this where it goes off, it's centering on the whole screen versus just the bezel. So you do need to take and drag that over. But from the drop down, you'll see all the different kinds of charts. You'll want to make sure you're matching up. You know, this one's a 3D stacked column chart. You're going to try to find the exact same thing in here. So stacked 3D column. And then you can take and just paste that, you know, whatever you copied. They've already given us the data, and you could manipulate those data in here if you want to. I mean, it's uh, not rocket science about what is, is in here. And then you just hit run, and what it's going to do is it's going to take and it's going to put that into a chart for us. Um, as you're playing around with it, you can actually click on the chart again, and it brings this dialog up. So, like for example, you notice here I had a, a width and a height, and if you were kind of working a layout that you wanted for a screenshot where you maybe wanted this to be um, you know a little bit taller to fit here you can just come in and make it up 450 and you'll see it kind of redraw it there so um, you should be able to run any chart that's out here no problem there are a few of them I've encountered where fusion charts seem to have just some goofy stuff in their markup so um, See if I can find one that you did that. Like this one here, see how it has like some obviously like weird data inside of it. Um, that's like it's not the same color as the rest of everything else. You can use those. See, so I click out the chart was that again? That was a 2D rounded edge column chart. I guess that would just be this. So you can put that in there, but just you just have to get rid of the thing that was like that weird text that was in there. So I don't know what that actually does, but if you do want to get adventures and run those, you can you can actually make them work. But in case you run into the don't, just know that they've got some sort of bug on their site. Last thing is uh, I have mostly every normal chart listed in here. But I didn't put in all the maps just because there's so many of them. So if you go to Other, it actually lets you fill in the kind of map here. Because when you're looking at the Fusion Charts site, and you go to the Maps, You can look at these, they're, uh, they're 
you can copy and paste this. Um, oops. I don't actually have a copy button on this one. Um, but uh, you do need to tell it like what kind of map that you're doing. It's like there's another, I mean, it said they've got a thousand plus maps. Um, there's another link here, and I can send you if it's not, you can't see it in the video, but they've got a list of all their maps here. So you can see, you know, they break it down to all the individual states and everything else. But um, I give the hint in here if you want to do a maps.usa, that's how you enter it. So it's just, you know, plotting that same data over top of a U.S. map. But um, if you pick like Europe, you know, the data wouldn't have aligned with Europe. So you do need to kind of coordinate that a little bit. So anyway, I um, thought this would be a quicker way than us making a bunch of sample data or sample, you know, whatever, that you could basically add the same widget as many times as you want on your screen. And every single time, each one of them is going to ask you for what data to put in it. So you can have all the different charts and everything. And um, the only downside is that, you know, every time you reload this page, it's not going to remember this data. So what I'd recommend if you get a layout how you want it, just kind of keep a copy of especially this data, but kind of more or less everything and maybe keep it in a Word document or something like that. That way you can easily recreate it if you need to. So anyway, hope that helps. Bye.